This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. The NFL has released the stipulation on free agents. So as of right now and a half hour ago, if you are a, a NFL free agent, you can meet with your team, with any team. So now that now, so you know what time it is, baby. Bring EG here so we can get that man in the Honolulu blue. So Mike. Let's talk about Get it. Get over here. <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it. What okay. Do you so, see? Mike, I know I know you want a DT, man, and I'm with you, bro. But mm -hmm. I, I got to break some news to you. Mike Daniels is not available, okay? The <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals picked him up. Shout out to Mike Daniels. Maybe he can earn some more money for his jacuzzi. But <laughs> now that we're over Mike Daniels, Everson Griffin is on the market. I don't care nothing about Clowney. I don't care about a scheme. You talk to me about a scheme. I don't want to hear about it. I want to hear about a dog <laughs> who ready to come off the leash. So Bob Quinn, this is me to you. Everson Griffin, please come to the Detroit Lions. As of uh, a half hour ago, the free agent stigma has been lifted. They can meet with any NFL team. So expect Everson Griffin to be signed before Pats come on uh, in about two weeks. Now, I know Travis Troxel of Troxel Sports Talk, he is his number one fan, Nick Bodden, but I think his number two fan is Everson Griffin. What is your take on this? Do you think the Lions are going to go ahead and try to take a grab and bring him in at least for a physical, to walk through the facility? What do you want to see and what do you believe is going to occur? Um, I definitely want to see them at least kick the tires on it because, you know, he is a dog, like the Gridiron Blitz said. He's a guy that does his job. That's something that Bob Quinn absolutely loves and tries to, you know, get every guy that comes in Detroit to do, do your job. That's the, you know, that's the place that he came from. That's their mantra is do your job. Also, you know, that's the same mantra in, in, you know, things that the head coach preaches to his players, do your job. It makes everybody's life easier if the player can do their job because it makes the guy next to him that much better. It makes the guy in front of him that much better. It makes the guys behind him that much better. Every player at every position makes each other better by doing their job. And if you bring in an Everson Griffin, it doesn't matter about scheme. Football is still football. The only thing that's different from one team to another, to another, to another, and it doesn't matter if it's a 3-4, 4-3, 3-3-5, or 1-6-7, one, one, I don't care. That's a lot of players. Of one. Yeah, I think that's flag on the play. That's flag on the play right hey, there. Hey, get so, hey, Aaron, Sharon Rogers gets away. Yeah, that's a flag on the play. That's hey, flag on the Sharon play. Rogers gets away with it. <laughs> yeah, he does. But, uh, necessary roughness. <laughs> but I mean, you know, the, the bottom line is, you know, it's just verbiage. And you could, I could teach a player. I don't care whatever scheme they come from. I could teach that same player the same verbiage that I need to get to him to do his job. Your job is as for Everson Griffin. His his job is to get the quarterback down by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Just don't pick up the yellow flag. If you could do that, you you did your job. Okay. You know, but if if we don't go after him, I I do want to see you know a Marcel Darius get in here. Because I think he can play outside and inside as well. I like that last one. TA and Noble Sports. First, first off, before I get into that, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe to everyone on the panel as well as mine. Hit that like button, please. That thumbs up. Smash that bad boy. Share it if you would if you would like. It really brings the content out there, and that's what it's all about. TA Noble Sports. They lifted the restriction. Everson Griffin. What are you thinking? I'm thinking this. Deep in my heart of hearts, in my heart of hearts, I know that the, the defense is missing something. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about it all offseason. The, the defense is missing something. And I definitely think that Everson Griffin could be that missing piece to this puzzle. 
you know, yeah. when you when you think about, you know, when you go into the offseason, you're thinking about how to get better. And I think getting a guy like Everson Griffin makes this defense better. Last year, we could not get to the quarterback. The quarterback would tap dance in the back. He would he would play the piano. He would sing. Uh, he would sing opera. He would do all these different things. <laughs> How could I sit there and act like you're talking about opera? And he yeah. taught. He doing all facts. All facts, man. <laughs> hey, he would sing an opera. He would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy man! He, he had he had time to clip his toenails, all kind of things. But at the same time, man, you know, deep in your heart of your hearts, if you're a Detroit Lion fan. You know that this defense is missing something and it's missing pass rush. We've been talking about it for the last couple seasons. And I definitely think that Everson Griffin coming to the team would definitely make this team a lot better. I'm not saying that he's going to go out there and have 15 sacks. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is he brings he brings uh, that dog on this team that they need. And he is a missing piece. It's something on the defense that, you know, on that defensive line that they're missing, whether it be a defensive tackle or a guy on the uh the edge you need somebody out there to be able to set that edge and that and that's uh everson griffin he can get to the quarterback he can put the pressure on the run game he can do a lot of things and having a guy like him be a part of the team i think that that would be a tremendous help especially when you know that your job is on the line you have to go out and get players that will make a difference and i definitely think that eg will make a difference in detroit that was an answer above all answers. You definitely <laughs> didn't. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have any mics, so I just oh, dropped the tissue. My God. I dropped the extra tissue, man. Folks, I don't know what is behind him. Y'all can- got mics. I got tissue. Let's go. <laughs> in, regards, in, re- in regards to free agency being open up, that makes me happy. We can get some free agent players in here. I want individuals on the defensive line. I I concur in regards to TA's thought of the idea that there's something missing on the defensive line. You win in the trenches. You win by getting to the quarterback. The quarterback has been sitting back there forever. So let's get some depth on that position. I don't even need necessarily a starter, but I need someone in there, a reliever, someone so the quarterback does not sit there. And these players on the defensive line who are big, bad boys – do not get tired. And when you see Aaron Rodgers just sitting back there for seven, eight seconds, you can't win the division that way. You can't win football games that way, period. Right. You can't win it. You can't sit there and let the quarterback sit on the toilet with his toilet paper doing nothing. <laughs> That's how you lose game, folks. So when it comes to Everson Griffin, I'm not as high on it as, as these guys. I know they're extremely high on Everson Griffin, and they want this man in the locker room Straight up, no doubt about it. Me, I'm a little bit different. I think the defensive tackle position, I want to have depth there. I think Marcel Darius would be would be good for our defensive line to, to help that out. With that said, even if it's not him, get somebody in there as a reliever, a pinch hitter to help us out. It's important. Yeah. You win in the trenches. And if you don't win in, if you don't have a defensive line, you end up 312 and one. We all know what it's like to not have a defensive line. And Got that- it. Matt Patricia, adios, amigo. That means Bob Quinn, adios, amigo. You have to win. You got to get pressure. You got to have a strong D. You got to knock that quarterback down with a strong, strong, really strong, tough D. That D has got to be. That D's got to be smacking down. Michael, so- I know about the strong D. That's how I know right, right. that Everson Griffin needs to be here. Okay. That's why I know about the strong D. Because without the strong D, you get a weak D. Okay? Right. And when you get a weak D, then you then, you, D. Then, yeah, then you wind up with the 31st ranked overall defense. I just got to chime in real quick, man. That dude live says Marcus Golden. Marcus Golden is off the market. He has been yeah. re-signed by the Giants. Uh, yep. In addition to that, shout out to Dwayne Hogan, who will get a mod as soon as I can give him one. Yep. One more thing. Facts, one, my one more thing. I'm going to kind of close this Everson Griffin thing. Everson Griffin played 78% of the snaps for the Minnesota Vikings. I don't see Everson Griffin as a backup. I see him out there as a starter. I put Romeo, all them other guys as backup. See, right. y'all want to disrespect the, the old people. 
But one thing about Everson Griffin is he ain't stopped working because of COVID. He keeps working. And that's the kind of guys we need. We need somebody with the inside scoop on a Minnesota Viking team so that we can beat them and not lose to them twice like we did last year. So stop disrespecting the old people. Let's bring them in. We need an edge guy. Let's get him here. And just for the record, I take full responsibility for Everson Griffin being on the team. Hey, <laughs> hey, 